This is David Johnson with my communion meditation from April 10. I'm a biochemist and molecular biologist. We all see God in the majesty of the mountains and the beauty of flowers, but in studying the molecules of life, I have seen the hand of God in DNA and proteins, the molecules of life. Genesis tells us that God spoke the world into being. In John 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And he was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. The Bible does not tell us what language God spoke when he created every living thing. However, every living thing, plants, animals, and even deadly viruses use DNA, which has only four molecules, abbreviated as the letters A, T, G, and C. All life also uses only 20 amino acids to make up proteins, such as hemoglobin. Amino acids are combined in various ways, like words in a sentence to make our bodies, muscle, bone, and blood. DNA can be viewed as God's alphabet or language that guides how we are made. These are the bases, the nucleic acid bases, A, T, G, and C, and here are their molecules. RNA is a little different. Uh, it's, uh, it has a U, a U instead of a T. And here is the double helix of DNA, and it's uh, the bases hold it together in the middle, keep the two strands together. So it's a ma an amazing molecule. DNA is replicated, has two strands, and it's transcribed into RNA, which is a single strand molecule, which is then read by a machine that produces proteins in our cells and our bodies. And this makes up the various proteins that we need to make us uh, make our living. So here is the machine, the molecular machine that reads the messenger RNA, and the and there are codons. On on that and those codons are just three letters A T G A T G or G A T for these amino acids down here and so each one codes for certain amino acids and these get stuck together to make beautiful proteins like hemoglobin so here's the hemoglobin molecule in which it has two red subunits, which we call alpha, and two blue subunits, which we call beta. And the oxygen binds right there that carries oxygen from our lungs up to, to our brain and our toes. And the hemoglobin molecule moves in a beautiful way when it binds oxygen. Each red blood cell has 5.2, there are 5.2 million red blood cells per mil of blood. There are 250 million hemoglobin molecules in each one of these cells, and we are making and destroying 2.5 million red blood cells per second. So life is a very fast-moving process at the molecular level. God spoke all life into existence using just four letters and 20 words. The power of God is seen in the simplicity of his language. Man makes things complicated. God gave Moses just 10 commandments, and the people expanded them to over 750 detailed laws. God then sent his son Jesus to teach us love, and he reduced the laws to only two commandments. Mark 12, 30 and 31. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind and with all your strength. And here is the second one. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no commandment more important than these. The foods we eat are converted into DNA and proteins in our bodies. When we eat the communion bread of life and drink the cup, which is Christ's blood shed for our redemption, the molecules of the bread and juice become part of us. Let's use these new molecules to express our love of God for his son Jesus and our love for others. As we hold the bread and the cup in our hands, let's each consider how the Holy Spirit can work more fully in our lives.